sideways, it's then going to come forward and make it more difficult. All right? So let's talk through this. So I'm going to show you the I'm going to show you the drill part. <coughs> stand here. Stand here. Shoulder, shoulder. Stand behind him. Right behind him. Yeah. You're the defender, so you start with the ball. And when you hand him the ball, you run around this marker into the grid. You get the ball, you run around this marker, you run around there. And stop like that. I go. You go as well. Stop. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Do not run across. What do we say? You never run across. Okay? So when you come around that corner, I want you to run up this channel. And what I'm making you do here is I'm making, I'm forcing you to turn your body back in that direction. If you get good at that, you're going to be good at it. If you get good at running across the field, you're going to be running across the field. So, let's set that up again. All right? You go as well. You've got to make the long track around. Okay? Go. Now stop. Now what have we got now? We've got two against one. The difference this time is this defender is coming forward. So now you've got less space and less time. Time and space, same thing. You've got more time, you've got more space. So what you've got to do here is figure out when to pass that ball. Again, if I hang on too long, I'll block down if I pass too early. So we have to move. So see if you score a try here. Let's go back and start again. Go. Go, 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 go. Score a try and stay in the grid. Can't run out the side. Go about. Do it again. Go back again. Let's do this a slow mo. Come around the corner. My first thought is turn and run back there. What am I trying to make that defender do? What if I run this way? What happens? Close the space. So if I run back here, I'm now attacking that space, keeping this space open, like you said. Now all I've got to figure out is when to pass the ball. Now this guy's going to try and make this difficult. He's not going to make it easy. So as I pass the ball, if he's heading that way, head that way, you take it back. So don't. All right? If he stays, stay, you make the pass and the score. That's the big part here, making that decision. Okay, here's the problem. I'm going to show you the problem and I'm going to try to fix it. Go back again. Don't face me. Right? Some people are so obsessed with this, they do that. Have you seen that? But they're looking here all the time and they don't know what to support. They toss the ball to the ground. Other people are so obsessed with here, they get smashed. All right? So how do I see here and here? Peripheral vision. Okay, let's do this drill. I'll do that not before. Let's do it sitting down. Put your hands in front of your face. Alright? Now to flap your fingers. Now move your hands away to the side. Don't turn your head. Keep moving when you can't see your hands anymore. Stop when you can't see them. Now look how far you can see. You see right out here. You don't have to look here or here, you can look in the middle. So, when I come around the corner here, instead of looking here or looking there, I'm looking out here. I can see him, I can see him. As I start to pass, if he stays there, make the pass. If he starts to go across, take it back. At that crucial moment, as you swing your arms, he comes across, you take it back, and you score. He stays, you make the pass. Okay, let's put it back. Now here's the drill. You work in threes. There you go. The defender starts with the ball. No, don't throw yet. Got three more behind them. Three more, come on. Three. Let's go. That's two. Three. Go. Go. Stand behind them. Get a ball. Get a ball. Alright, so we have them in three. So when you finish, go to the back, go to the Go. You ready? There you go. All right, go. And then again. Ready. There you go. Score. Don't forget to score. Say again. Punch it down for a try. Go. There you go. Again. Go. Now, here's the question. How come you were twice in a row you got the ball? You need to change. You go okay. So you go from being defender, ball carrier, to score pair. All right, and then after a few reps, 
bump you over. Right? No, no. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Get behind him. We go the other way, and now you're passing on the other hand. Go! Alright. Back, ready. Okay. Go! With that one. There you go. Good job, okay? Now remember what we said, just to remind you, when we come around the corner here, and we've got the defender, and the support player on the side here, okay? You're out here, we're attacking that way. You're going to score in there. Or I'm going to score in there, but one of us is going to score. He's dead in the water, okay? We do the right thing. Stay behind me, don't get in front. When I run towards him, don't look at him all the time. Don't look at him all the time. Where do you look? Out here. Remember peripheral vision? Okay, and as I make that pass, if he stays there, there's the pass. Okay? Give me the ball. As I make that pass, if he goes across, I take back and I score. But you don't know that the last second, and you've got to run before you do it. Here's what we sometimes see, is we come like this, and we go, and we stop. And if we stop them, what can he do? Get a toss. You got it? Go! So defenders, let's act like we're playing defense too, okay? Right, right, right. There we go. Nice quick hands. All right. Good. Sympathetic passes, guys. Get it to the target. Go right, right, go right. There we go. All right. Good. Decision maker. All right. Now we've got some more to come after the break. Okay. Let's summarize. Passing. Before you receive the ball, throw your hands up and towards the ball. So reach for the ball, and then as the ball is on its way, move towards the ball. And if you move towards the ball, you're creating that space outside that we talked about. So reach for the ball, move towards the ball. If you're passing the ball to somebody, where do you pass? Into their hands, that's the target. You will pass over their head or down to their knees, at their hands. And what is the pass going to be like? Sympathetic. Yeah. Sympathetic so that it doesn't push them away. Okay. So when you get the ball in, you swing your arm across your body, like a pendulum, and you just let the ball go out of your hands. Try not to put that spin pass in unless that person's a long way away. And usually in rugby they're not, but a lot closer than that. So let's not see those silly spin passes that aren't needed. So they force the person to move away from the ball. So that's the pass. When, you're, when you're, you get the ball and you want to use a space, what's the first thing you do in relation to that space? You move away from that space. So the space is here, I want to run there. Or if the space is here, I want to run there. And then when do you pass the ball to your support player in that space? Well, you've got to figure that out. We say not too early, not too late. If you pass too early, what does the defender do? They can chase the pass and get there with the ball. If you pass too late, you're going to get hit with the ball. There you go. Do you understand those things? Now, can everybody here do those things? No. Okay? I know people who can play the game a long, long time still can't do those do you understand those things? Do you have any questions on those things? Okay, if you understand that, then you can get about practicing and getting better. You don't have to be able to do everything again this weekend, but you need to be able to understand everything. And that's what practice is about. If you understand something, then you learn a lot quicker. Three people here, one behind the other, and two people here. Okay? So you have the ball, you have the defender, now it's really important we do these drills later that you, you set up like this and you run them exactly the right way because otherwise it gets out of kilter, okay? So when she gives you the ball, you're going to go around that green marker and you're going to go around that green marker and we'll have three against two. And your space is this big space here. It's like 10 yards wide, 15 yards long. Just for the purpose, all right, of doing this, I want you to do it at walking speed. And when you come around the corner, stop, all right, go. Come around the corner and stop. No, that's okay, don't move. 
So what I want you to do is, this support player here, I want you to stand right in behind her here. Okay? Right? And you take your normal width here. Okay? So, you walk towards the, walk towards the opposition. All right? And before you get too close, you can draw that first defender, draw her up to you. You stay back. I want you to take a pass to her here. Pass to her. Uh, All right? You go to her, and then you pass back inside there. It's not as easy as it's, it's a lot trickier, but let's walk through it one more time because I, I want to get the other group everybody else to work Alright, let's go. Let's walk through it. Alright, you come. Now stop there. So what's your priority? Let's talk about priorities. What's your priority as a ball carrier? Is to make sure that defender stays there and make the pass. Alright? You can take the pass with the Okay. Now if you start wider, what happens to her? If you start wider, what happens to that space? It's bigger. So you want to fix her, make the pass, make the pass, ah. and your priority is to pass ah. back inside there. Got that? Yep. Okay. So the grid is quite big. It doesn't have to be 10 wide, but it needs to be wider than five, 5 yards. It can be 7, 8 wide, but it needs to be about 15 long. Okay, What's your roll? Let's go. Four, four carrier. What's your roll? Four, what's your roll? Wide receiver. Okay. And then stop. Go. Get on the corner. No. Okay. No. You did it different than I did. So the first play, we went to the wide receiver, went back inside to support. This time I want to change it to get your positioning. Come on. This time I want you to do, instead of running wide, I want you to run into that space there. So let's come forward, come forward. So you're attacking that space here, all right? Now the idea is, guys, if that space is open, I call for the ball and I get it, and I run right in there. He drops in, okay? What's that space here? This guy is coming behind here, and if you if you call for it, you get it, but if you say nothing, you give it to me behind his back. So do it, do it. When I get over here. Okay? So let's do that. Go. Walk through, walk through. On the corner. Get get into your white position. Or get into your white position. Now run at his inside shoulder. And then pass behind his back. There. So let's do it again now. Real time. Got that girl. Got One more time. Go. Nice there. work. Good work. All right. Now, there's a lot going on there. I believe there's a lot going on. It's different the first play. The first play we call it an overs play. We went outside. This is a ponderous play. We're going under the fence. So you have two options. Keep your rolls the same. Don't change your rolls. So when you come off, you've got to get around that corner and run really hard. And if that defender leaves that space, you call for it, you get it. If he closes the space, you say nothing, he gets it. All he has to do is either give it to you or give it to him. Get it if you call for it. If you don't get it, he gets it. Ready? Go! Nobody calls. All right? Now, if nobody calls, what are you doing? You give it to him. You know, you gave it to him. You didn't follow the plan. Let's go again. Go! Follow the plan. There it is. Let's follow the plan. All right, now, let's see how we get on with that. We've got like 10 minutes, and we've got to finish this. But I'm giving you an idea. Oh, you're not going to get this this morning. I'm giving you an idea of what you can do now when you have a target, three target and two defenders. Okay, you've got this forward play on this play. Now, a little tricky to run, but if you understand what you're trying to do, that's the important thing. Even though you won't get it perfectly right this morning. All right, so let's try it for 10 minutes.